More shares in the Reserve Bank have been made available for South Africans to buy. But there is no substantial commercial benefit. You will only get 10 cents a year per share in dividend payments. Reserve Bank Governor Lesecha Hanyaho emphasized its shareholding structure is not profit-driven. The idea behind getting more people to buy these shares is to increase community representation and share participation in the governance of the bank. The risk that was being prevented here went beyond just saying how many shares uh, do you hold, but also limited the issues upon which the shareholders have a say uh, on. And those issues that we say the shareholders have a, a say on is discussing the annual report, discussing the auditor's report, appointing the auditors, and uh, deciding on the remuneration of the auditors and any other business that uh, uh, would have been advanced uh, uh, to the bank ahead of the uh, ordinary general meeting. That's all that the shareholders do. Last year, the High Court ruled that individuals owning more than 10,000 shares, together with associates, should dispose of the extra shares. There are 2 million Reserve Bank shares owned by individuals and companies, and 149,000 shares have become available after the ruling. Khanyako has not put a price to the share. You can contact uh, Investec uh, Securities as appointed by the court to establish exactly at what price you might actually be uh, getting these things. Uh, remember, the price the court said that some minimum uh, price, which means that depending on the number of bidders, the price could, uh, could actually change, but it cannot be below uh, that minimum price. The move could be seen as very positive to those asking for more public say and transparency in the Reserve Bank's governance, but Khanyako was quick to remind that owning shares does not mean access to control the operations of the Reserve Bank and its policy direction. Devin Murugan, SABC News, Pretoria.